A great deal has been said about the power of global cities and the power of mayors. What does Brexit tell us about <laughs> London, the global city, and its limitations? Well, it shows you that it's a plus for London to have the rest of Britain. At the same time, if London gets very different from the rest of Britain, the disconnect becomes a serious problem. Uh, we've always admired London because they, their ballast and their freedom of manoeuvre is greater than ours. We are a city, we are also a nation, and you must take care of the nationhood. London doesn't have to worry about that because it thought it had a nation, Great Britain. But in Brexit, it turned out that London thought one way and Great Britain, or at least England, thought another way. And this is going to be a serious problem. Uh, globalization is a challenge which we all face. It's also our livelihoods for cities like London or Singapore. And at the same time, you have to be open. At the same time, you must maintain that sense of identity and cohesion and uh, confidence amongst the domestic population that there are visitors, that you're part of a wider world. At the same time, you're confident of your place and this is your home. And you have, it's not easy to strike that balance. I think for Singapore more so than London, but even for London, uh, they hit some limits. Yes. You think London will do well still? I think they hope to do well. <laughs> and I'm sure the next British Prime Minister will try very hard to negotiate a deal which will enable them to do well. But they have had a referendum and things cannot carry on as before. It has to change.